I'm so freaking excited to talk about this, guys. It's been my secret. We're going to build a range in my backyard. It is a lifelong dream, and I want to share with you how we did it. Here we go. All right. Right now, I'm just unpacking all the boxes and kind of trying to get a feel for the layout of where I want everything. And you'll see me. I keep raising the pistol up and stepping back to the 15-yard line to try to make sure that I'm not going to shoot wide or shoot over the top of the berm. So I'm doing a lot of moving around and adjusting because I don't want to we got a little picnic area off to the right. I don't want to shoot off over there and shoot holes in my tiki torches. But I also want to make sure the targets are at the right height. And we're shooting downhill. So they look low, but they're really not that low. So when I'm standing uphill and facing down, that puts the center of the target at center mass shot in the center of the berm. But it looks knee high when I'm standing up there, but when I'm back, it's perfect. Well, this is a plate rack that I just gotten and the two steel uh, man-sized dog targets. And they were incredibly well-priced on Amazon and they work great, as you'll see later on in the video. And the target stands that I got, those are high wild or spatter burst targets. And you can move those sticks in. So you can do two six inch targets, one 12 inch, one 18 or one 24. And they're great. So I put the spatter burst up, make sure I've got everything centered. I keep kind of moving everything around. Adjusting the height here on that far left target. That's the uh, hostage target. Here it is, guys. The range. I just spent the morning building the steel targets and getting everything set up. This is our yard, which is freaking awesome. So we're going to see if we can't get the cops called. That's it. It's never been fired upon. We're at the 15 yard line right here. I haven't sighted this uh, pistol in yet, so it might look like a retard, but here we go. Well, I need to adjust my sights for sure. You know what these are, right? Mm -hmm. Good guy, bad guys, hostage. So to keep from shooting this person, you shoot this dude in the heart. And if this guy is behind the good guy, you shoot him in the head. Not like, really. Eh, that's what that's for. Good yeah. guy, bad guy. That's cool. Yeah. It looks like everything's fragging like it's supposed to. Hopefully the neighbors won't be too pissed. Mm. So these are, these are real AR-500 38 stick targets. And I got these on Amazon and I could not believe, and I verified that it was the actual manufacturer and they're very high quality. So that means I can have a range back here in the backyard and be at 15 yards and be safe with pistol caliber because it's thick AR steel. We got the dueling tree so that me and camera wife can shoot back and forth and I don't have to constantly reset stuff if I'm down here by myself. Those are the IDPA targets. And this, these are neat because you can move to the width to do skinny targets. So six inches, 18, all the way out to 24s. So over there, it's the same target stand. You can hold the spatter burst targets, which I like because we've got a hundred yards that we can shoot here. So you could sail all the way back up to the house. It's a hundred yards and I've got a little uh, quiet room there just outside the knife shop. But you know, this is it. We, we make so many knives, we can't get to the range anymore. So. We got a lot of work done at the house doing uh, septic systems and things. And one of the guys at things like, hey, we could clear your woods out. I'm like, could you put me in a shooting range? And he's like, hell yeah, man. And so he did. So here's day one. 